China just did the impossible. It fired a laser 130,000 kilometers from Earth to a satellite orbiting the moon in full daylight and got a clear signal back. That's right, in a sky flooded with sunlight, Chinese scientists precisely struck a fast-moving target in space with laser accuracy that defies belief. Why does this matter? Because it smashes a decades-old barrier in space science and opens the door to 24-7 lunar navigation. In this video, we're diving deep into how they did it and what it means for the future of moon missions and beyond. For decades, solar interference has been the biggest roadblock to continuous Earth-Moon laser tracking. Laser ranging, firing pulses of light to measure distance, has long been a reliable tool in low-Earth orbit satellite tracking, but extending this technique to lunar distances during the day has remained out of reach. The culprit? blinding solar background noise. When sunlight hits Earth's atmosphere, it scatters and saturates the optical environment. For laser ranging, especially at the extreme 130,000 km scale to the moon, this scattered light acts like static on a radio, completely drowning out the weak reflected signals bouncing back from spaceborne targets. Until now, Earth-Moon laser shots were only conducted at night, when the absence of sunlight allowed clean, unobstructed signal reception. This severely limited the number of usable tracking windows and reduced the reliability of long-range orbital measurements. Enter the Deep Space Exploration Laboratory, DCL, and the Yunnan Observatories. In a two-day experiment from April 26 to 27, 2025, the team used China's Tiandu-1 satellite, launched just a year prior, to prove that the rules had changed. As part of a three-satellite mission, Tiandu-1 carries a retroreflector, a device designed to bounce incoming laser pulses directly back to their source. To beat the sunlight, Chinese researchers employed a newly upgraded near-infrared laser system mounted on a 1.2-meter telescope. This upgrade wasn't just cosmetic, it allowed for sharper focus, longer-range targeting, and, most critically, the filtering of intense daylight noise. It's this capability that turned a previously impossible scenario into a repeatable, measurable success. According to the Chinese Academy of Sciences, the precision of this test is akin to hitting a human hair with a laser pointer from 10 kilometers away, while that hair is moving several kilometers per second through deep space. They tracked and recorded return signals from Tiandu-1 in broad daylight, essentially proving that they could do it again and again. Executing a laser shot to a moving satellite 130,000 kilometers away is hard enough, but doing it in daylight? That's something else entirely. To understand how China accomplished this, we need to unpack the precision engineering and advanced systems behind the mission. The experiment centered on the Tiandu-1 satellite, part of a trio launched in March 2024 to support China's ambitious lunar communication and navigation goals. Tiandu-1 is equipped with a laser retroreflector, a small but powerful device that reflects incoming laser beams directly back along their incoming path. This setup is vital for ensuring that even weak return signals can be detected over massive distances. On the ground, the real hero was the 1.2-meter telescope at Yunnan Observatories, now fitted with a state-of-the-art near-infrared lunar laser ranging system. This system emits laser pulses with extreme precision and can isolate returning signals with high fidelity, even in the presence of overwhelming sunlight. The wavelength shift to near-infrared allowed better atmospheric penetration and minimized solar scattering, essentially giving the system night vision capabilities in broad daylight. But tech alone wasn't enough. Synchronization and real-time trajectory modeling were essential. Tindu-1 like all satellites in cislunar space, moves at incredible speeds and follows highly elliptical orbits. The ground team needed to anticipate its precise location down to the millisecond, accounting for velocity changes, gravitational perturbations, and orbital drift. Using China's own deep space navigation software and predictive models, they locked onto the satellite and timed their laser emissions with pinpoint accuracy. The challenge was also mechanical. Keeping a 1.2-meter telescope aligned with a fast-moving satellite at lunar distance requires sub-arc second accuracy, any slight deviation, and the laser would miss entirely. Engineers overcame this by implementing high-speed tracking systems with automatic course correction capabilities, similar to those used in missile defense but tuned for much longer distances. 
Once the laser hit its target, the return signal, already attenuated by distance and diffraction, had to be amplified and filtered. The team confirmed successful detection and distance calculations using nanosecond-level time-of-flight measurements. This technological leap doesn't just mark a cool milestone, it's a foundational shift in how we plan, operate, and scale lunar exploration. The implications stretch far beyond a single successful laser shot. First and foremost, this advancement is a cornerstone for autonomous lunar operations. By enabling continuous tracking, China can now gather real-time positional data on satellites, landers, rovers, and eventually astronauts. No longer limited to nightside data windows, mission controllers can maintain 24-7 oversight. This is critical for high-stakes maneuvers such as landings near the moon's south pole, where lighting conditions are notoriously tricky and solar panels may only receive slivers of light. This capability feeds directly into China's long-term lunar blueprint. The Keqiao, two relay satellite, launched with Tiandu-1 and Tiandu-2, is the communications backbone for future missions. Together, these satellites are testing cross-links and high-precision tracking systems that will support the International Lunar Research Station, a joint project with Russia scheduled to begin construction by 2035. Precision navigation via laser ranging could coordinate fleets of autonomous rovers, sink lander arrivals, and even support robotic construction of the station infrastructure. Beyond positioning, there's a strategic layer. The China National Space Administration CNSA, has declared it wants to be a dominant player in cislunar space. This breakthrough adds to its list of firsts from the first far-side lunar sample return with Chang'e 6 to plan nuclear-powered modules under Chang'e 8. The ability to range satellites during the day gives China superior orbital intelligence, better data synchronization, and enhanced mission control, an edge no other space agency currently holds. This has consequences for space governance, too. As we edge closer to militarized and commercialized lunar zones, precision tracking could become the deciding factor between mission success and catastrophic failure. In a world where 100,000 satellites may soon fill Earth orbit, laser ranging advancements could evolve into a space traffic control system, and China is laying the groundwork for it now. This isn't just about hitting a satellite with a laser. It's about rewriting the rules of space exploration. China's breakthrough in daytime laser ranging unlocks real-time, round-the-clock navigation for lunar missions, no more blind spots, no more waiting for night. It sharpens the precision of every future landing, rover, and astronaut. More than that, it signals a shift in who leads the next era of deep space operations. As China builds its lunar infrastructure, this leap positions it not just as a participant, but as a space-faring power shaping the moon's future and possibly the solar systems. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.